Hey everybody, Patrick with Triptic Canine and of course Twix. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today is episode 13 of Triptic Canine's Tuesday Training Tips. And today we're going to be covering becoming valuable to your dog. It's a pretty simple process. I'll outline the process then go into a little, little more detail. Get your dog on a feeding schedule. So let's say breakfast and dinner. During those feeding times, use your dog's food as its reward for training. Don't worry about treats, don't worry about anything like that. Just use the dog's daily food. And that's it. Easy way to become valuable to your dog. Now, going a little more in depth. One of the things that I recommend for clients is to get their dog on a feeding schedule. Like I said, let's say twice a day, breakfast and dinner. During those times, you use your dog's daily food. So let's say your dog gets two cups of food a day. You'd use one cup in the morning, one cup in the evening. You train during those feeding times. So for breakfast, put one cup of food in a treat pouch, go out, train your dog. It sits, you give it food. Now, if your dog refuses food, then that's fine. You are not withholding food from your dog. You are giving your dog every opportunity to eat the food when it is provided to it. So you tell your dog to sit, it sits, you give it the reward, it doesn't want it. Okay, keep training, maybe it, maybe it will during this training session. If your dog, whatever your dog doesn't eat during that training session, do not give to your dog in a bowl or anything. Do not feed your dog. Your dog has decided it doesn't want that amount of food. And that's perfectly fine. Hey, don't roll in mud. Come here. Crazy. <laughs> anyway, so if your dog refuses to eat, it has chosen to not eat that food. It doesn't want that food. That's fine, that's the dog's choice. But come dinner time, it's probably gonna be a little hungrier which means it's most likely going to eat whatever food is provided for it, which is good. That's exactly what we want. We want to get your dog to the point where its food comes from you at certain times. When you present or provide food for your dog, that's when it eats. Not whenever it wants, like in free feeding. For those of you that do not know what free feeding is, free feeding is your dog's food, a bunch of your dog's food is in a bowl and your dog can eat whenever it wants throughout the day. At that point, food is no longer valuable to your dog because your dog can get it whenever it wants. Value is when a resource is not readily available or easily accessible. So if you're free feeding, your dog can get food whenever it wants, food has no value because your dog has never had to work for it, it's just there. So that's why I recommend the feeding schedule and training with the daily food because then the dog's food comes straight from you so it not only makes food valuable because it's not readily accessible anymore it can only eat food when it is provided by you and it makes you valuable because you are the one that provides the food directly not a bowl so yeah that's that's really it if you want to become valuable to your dog then you need to limit things Things can't be easily accessible, readily available, and everything needs to come from you. So like I said, if the dog refuses food, that's fine. You are not withholding food. You are giving it every single opportunity to eat the food provided when you provide it. Um, it's the same thing as putting food, if you were to put food in a bowl and put it out for your dog, give the dog five minutes to eat. If the dog doesn't eat it in five minutes, remove the food. You've given your dog every chance to eat that food. It decided it wasn't hungry. Same thing. So, I hope that's been informative, maybe helpful for some of you. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Until next time, get out there, train your dogs, and have some fun. Because training never ends. <laughs>